Welcome to PCP, not the drug, but the, uh, see, he already turned up. Not the drug. <laughs> not the drug. Okay. The Prank Call Podcast, starring your boy B. Watts, and today I got a guest. My special guest is none other than Adrian Davis, a.k.a. D, a.k.a. a lot of dollars. <laughs> What's good, my guy? What's up, bro? Cool and cooling. Hey, man. Tell these, tell these people what you do, man. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. speaker, uh, actor, director, producer. I'm a comma. That's what I am. A com- what is a comma, man? Tell, tell me what a comma is. A comma is more than one thing. A lot of times people just keep you where they met you. So, okay. you know, like, for example, like you're a comedian, right? right? So a lot of times people be like, oh, like he's a comedian. He does, he does skits and he does this and he's... YouTube and Instagram and go viral and stuff like that. Right. Then they put a period there. And it's mm-hmm. like, when you start to do something else, it's kind of hard for them to grasp all the other things that you do. So gotcha. like, because you're an actor, uh-huh. you are a director, you are a producer. So um, a comma is just literally more titles to who you're created to be. Okay. And you're embracing them. And then it's also translates to more commas in your bank account. Oh, yeah, man. Everybody can use more commas in their bank account. Everybody need that. I need a few more commas in my bank account right now. (laughs) You ain't the only one. Hey, look, man. Tell these people how we met. How how we meet. So, was it like, is it Diddy? Was it Diddy? Yeah, it was. It it was. No, Jamie Foxx. It was Jamie Foxx's birthday party. (laughs) uh, (laughs) No, it was Michelle's birthday party. Okay. Uh, Gorilla had invited us. And, uh, yo, like, we pulled up. And then. Uh, he introduced us, mm-hmm. and then we just start talking. Like, and then we follow each other on social media. Yeah. And then from there, you know, like it took, you know, like it took some time. Like, you know, like we didn't connect, like, like link up immediately. Mm-hmm. And then um, I think we was like, "Hey, what you doing? What you up to?" And then we just finally linked. And then from there, we just started doing little stuff and little skits and genuine, yeah. genuine friendship. Just genuine yeah, friendship. It's all it is. Ain't forced. I didn't have to pay him this time <laughs> to be on but, here. But next Excuse time, uh, he's going to get an invoice with a router, and it's going to tell him, all, I want all green Skittles. I want, my, I want my water at 55 degrees. If it's 58, he got to take it back. We can do that. We can do that. Green Skittles <laughs> and water. We, we can do that. Put the thing in the freezer before he And I want, all straw, I'm, I, want, I, mean, I want all pink Starbursts. All right. Now nigga doing too much. <laughs> now nigga doing too much. <laughs> Hey, look, man. <laughs> LA is a place of like healthy eating and stuff, right? Yeah. So, if you didn't have to eat healthy, what is one place you would eat at? Like fast food restaurant? Like, what you, what you like to eat sometimes? Because you know everybody got to have a cheap meal or two or five. You know, depending on where you at in your life. So, so I'm, I'm still, I'm still embracing like the whole healthy eating aspect. Okay. Because okay. man, like I love, just I just love food, bro. I just love good food. Of course. Um. And so for me, if I could eat the way I wanted to every day, right? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question because, bro, like, I'm, I love Mexican food, okay. right? Okay. So me too. And, and I love cheese and, of course. Uh, man, dog. So like, it's options, bro. But I'm a steak lover too. Oh, I, I do rock with steak. I do rock with. You steak. do? Yeah. That, now, I love some steak, bro. I love a good steak. All right, well, pick, pick a fast food restaurant, though. Oh, fast food? Fast food. Yeah, we, we, this is cheap meal. This is like... Okay. Yeah, we, we, we grimy with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just, Yeah. Okay. Give me some All fast right. food. None right. of that fancy stuff. Okay, none, no, no fancy. All right. Um, cheap meal, fast food. I don't know, bro. It, for me, it'd have to be... My first option, it'd have to be Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Then, my second option... Which a lot of people are not gonna rock with Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I don't care, bro. I don't I, care. I, don't, I, me. I rock with both of them, so I ain't, you ain't got no enemies right so, here. I rock so, with both of them. I, Cause like I don't know, man. Something about cheesy Taco Bell, and then they done brought back the Mexican pizza. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Stop it, man. Come Give on. Me, I'm finna order about three of them soon. Stop, stop, stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> All right, so look, Chick Fil A and Taco Bell, right? Yeah. Out of them two places. Which one of those places are we going to prank call today? 
<laughs> and that's what the show is about. It's uh, about prank calls. And I'm going to go ahead and give us a little old prank call today. Uh, so out of them two places that you like, I need one of them places to prank call. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we going to test Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Because Chick-fil-A uh-huh. supposedly has the best customer service okay. in fast food. So what happens when they get a call that they can't really like, you know, kind of control and be nice with. Mm. Okay. All right, so we're going to do this prank call, but there's, there's a catch to it, though. Okay. Of course, of, obviously, I'm not going to talk like me. I'm not going to sound like me. All right. So I need you to pick any voice, accent, whatever, that I have to make this prank call in to see if mm. I can fool these people at Chick-fil-A. Okay. I, uh... Wait a minute, you from you from Corsicana? Corsicana, Texas, 903 till I DA, you get it? <laughs> Come on, man. Step on me, man. Step on me, man. For real, man. Big country boy, man. Big country boy. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm talking about? All right, so because you from Corsicana, Texas, yeah. we got to give a good country accent, bro. A country accent? Like country, I'm talking about like, 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 like you got a herd of, herd of cows and horses Heifers. And, and, and <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 like that's that's what you gotta hit them with. Okay. That's well, what you look, gotta hit them with. That's the challenge for today. All I right. have to call Chick-fil-A. I have to talk in a country accent. Yeah. And uh man, what's what's gonna be the basis of this call? What 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 should I be asking for? Just just give me one or or just throw in a keyword, anything that I have it could be random that I have to use. In this call, in any word, it ain't got to be. It don't have to deal with chicken at all. It don't got just any word, and I have to fit it into this conversation. Mmm. You have to fit in because it's Chick Fil A, but you got to fit in beef. 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 <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Hey, look. So yes, sir. The prank call is going to be Chick Fil A. I got to talk in a country accent. And I got to mention the word beef in this call in order for it to be successful. Yep. What you think going to happen? I don't know, man, because you mentioning beef with Chick-fil-A, and their whole campaign is eat more chicken. It is eat more chicken. But they, they, they're a Christian-based, faith-based company. Yeah. So they should honor what, you know what? They should honor the request. Let's just get into the call and All see right. how this goes. All right, let's see. Hello, can you hear me? Hi, my name's David. Um, I just called an in to place an order. Can I do that over the phone? My my daughter got me one of those Android phones. I was having trouble with the uh, with the app. Oh, I, no, no problem. Yeah, I put your uh, order in right now. Give me one second, okay? All right. Um, I'd like to get, um, about four of those chicken sandwiches that's grilled. Okay, four grilled chicken sandwiches? Yeah, grilled chicken sandwiches. All of them have tomatoes on them. Okay, no lettuce on them? Yeah, yeah, you can put lettuce on them, too. Okay, do you want the meal or is it just the chicken sandwiches by themselves? All right, now, if I do get the, the meal, how much more... Excuse me? I'm saying the meals come with fries and drinks included. Okay, now if I get just a sandwich, how much more is it when I get fries and a drink? Um, okay, give me one second. Yeah, so uh, get, how, how much is one, is the chicken sandwich just by itself? Yeah, so a chicken sandwich by itself is seven twenty five plus tax, and a meal is going to be eleven sixty five plus tax. Eleven, so it's like two bucks a piece for the fries and two bucks for the drink? Uh, do you guys have like a, how much is a small drink? A small drink? Um, I believe the price doesn't change if the drink is small. It's, um... Uh, wait, uh, hang on, hang on. Wait, so it's it's one size, it's just, uh same price for small and large? Uh, we, yeah, so for medium and small, they're the same price, but a large will be an upgrade fee. A medium and small, same price. Okay, so 
So how much is a me is a medium or small? Um, so in the regular combo, it would be eleven sixty five, and then with a large drink, it would be a forty cent add on. No, I mean, I mean, like if if I was just to get just a drink, right? How much would that drink be? Just a drink. The drink by itself, got you. Uh, like a small or a medium? Well, you you said they're both the same price, right? Yes, as in the meal. Dude, hang on, you're confusing me now. Hold on. Okay, so when everything is charged separately, there's going to be a different price for everything, but when it's in a meal, the medium and the small, the price will not change, only if you upgrade it to a large. Okay, so if I should come up there right and I only wanted a medium drink, how much would that be? All right, so a medium drink would be two fifty nine. Two fifty nine. so you're saying it's cheaper to just go ahead and get a meal, right? You would save uh, more. Okay, now I seen online my uh, son-in-law sent me a coupon. Um, I, I'm not sure if he's right, but y are you guys making beef sandwiches now? We are not. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? You nope. So, like, you know, I, I know you're not you're not the owner, or you don't make decisions and stuff like that. I'm not saying that or nothing like that. But don't you think you guys should have more than just chicken up there? Like, what what about the people oh, that you know you know want like a, a beef sandwich or something like that, man? Yeah, I understand that. Um, honestly, like in the morning we have like sausage and bacon. But right. Really, like for our regular menu, everything's chicken. Um, I mean, well, not everything, because you just said you got sausage and stuff like that, right? Yeah, the sausage. Yeah, and what what like time what time does that end? Um, what do you mean? Well, you said in the mornings you guys have sausage and stuff like oh, that. Could I come at our morning? So our morning time ends at uh, ten thirty in the morning. So we stop serving breakfast at ten thirty. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You stop, set, dude. Do you eat breakfast at night? Uh, no. Hang on now. Hang on. You, you, you're pulling my coattail here. You never eat breakfast at night. Oh, you're saying me personally? Yeah, yeah, man. I know you know you. you know, sometimes you know we get up and you know maybe late breakfast something like that. And you may want yeah. breakfast later than you know ten ten thirty. Hell, I'm still in bed at ten thirty. You know what I mean? So, so are are you able to um, maybe substitute my chicken sandwich for a, a sausage, even though it's after hours? I understand it's past ten o'clock, but unfortunately, I cannot. Dude, so so what do they do? Put a lock on the refrigerator or something like that? Um, well, no, we have our daily like a daily supply, and every um, night we have a new a truck that brings it in. Uh huh. Get rid of breakfast. Get everything. Get rid of everything of breakfast after that certain time, and then we're focusing on main menu items such as lunch and all the chicken stuff. Oh, so you guys are just completely wiped out after ten thirty? Oh yeah. Uh, oh man, that's. Well, I, I I don't mean to ask so many questions, man. I don't hardly ever come up there to uh, Chick Fil A. I'm more of a. I'm I'm from Texas, so I'm more of a Whataburger type of guy. And like, hell, they they give you whatever you want all day, man. You you you're familiar with Whataburger? Yes, I am. Uh, isn't that um Mark Wahlberg's drink or is it? Oh, dude, dude, no, no, that's Wahlburgers, dude. No, we don't eat that crap. Oh, well, Whataburger. Right? Yeah, Whataburger's from Texas, man. It's blowing Chick Fil A out the water, dude. It's I mean, come on now. It's blowing Chick Fil A out the water. But um, you sure there's no possible way you can at least like sneak me a little sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich out there from Chick Fil A? You can't? Okay. No eggs, no nothing, like, right now. Unless they're, like, already cooked for our salad, then, yeah, no. We don't have any uh, morning ingredients, I would say. Dude, that sucks, man. I'm, I'm more of a breakfast at night type of guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, I totally understand that. Okay, and what's your name again? Uh, Gerald, G-E-R-A-L-D. Hi, well, Gerald, man. Now, look, you, you've been you've been a big help to me, man. Half that crap I didn't even know about Chick Fil A, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel my order because I really wanted a breakfast sandwich at night, and uh, 
you guys aren't able to provide that, so I, I really appreciate it, man. Of course. I apologize for the inconvenience, um, the confusion. I, that's no problem. Hi, hey, look here. Look, look here. I, uh, do, do you got your, uh, your manager, CEO's number? I'd like to put in, like, a, it's not a complaint, but it's like a request that you guys, like, hold the menu, uh, you know, the sausage and stuff like that, a little bit later than 10 o'clock for the ones like a sleep in, you know? I'd like to, um, I'd like to see that type of change out there, man. It's not really common for, for you know, people just shut, shut down a breakfast menu right at 1030, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah, I understand. Um, so, I mean, one second, I'll go find our operator's number and I'll get it. Yeah, your, your manager, district manager, the owner, creator, whoever it is, who's, whoever's at the top, man, you know, as far as you can reach. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll give you corporate's number and I'll give uh, our operator, like our uh, manager, Oh. Okay. Well, okay. Dude, you're awesome, dude. One second. Of course. Gotta be. All right. Damn right. I'm so sorry, Mr. David. I'm still looking for the number right now, okay? Hey, hey you know what, man? Hey, it's no problem. I don't want to put you through any more stress or anything like that. Okay. I know you got some um, people to attend to. You can look it online. Uh huh. Such a Chick-fil-A's corporate number. Um. That should be it. like the first thing that pops up, okay? You can go ahead and call that number, and if not, you can go ahead and call the number for this establishment again, and then we'll try and get that to you, okay? All right. Hey, man, you're a stand-up guy, Gerald. I, I wouldn't mind my daughter dating you, man. <laughs> do, you, do you do you have a lady friend in your life? Um, you oh, look, you're not too sure, Gerald. If you had to think that long, you don't like her. <laughs> you can say something like that, all right? All right, man. Well, you you have yourself a great night, girl. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. You too, as well. All right. You have a good night. All right. Take care. See you Sunday. All right. All right. <laughs> Why you say see you Sunday? <laughs> hey, this dude needs some help, bro. Like, like for pull real. it off. Pull yeah. it off. You pull it off. You pull it off. Accent. Beef. I was wondering when you was gonna pull the beef situation. Had to throw the beef in there. Look, man. A success. The first one, first one of success. We caught Hilarious. Chick-fil-A. We got the beef off in the country accent. What more do you want from me? <laughs> what more can I say? <laughs> hey, look. We finna get up out of here, man. We finna go to Chick-fil-A and go get us a beef sandwich. Y'all be cool. We'll see y'all on the next episode.